is obviously hit yoga, you guys know the drill by now, so we'll just get started with a quick warm up. So if you come to the front of your mat, find yourself in Tadasana. We'll just begin by rolling the shoulders back and down, maybe five circles backwards, and then five circles forwards. When you've done five circles in both directions, inhale as you lift your right arm up, reaching up tall, exhale as you reach all the way over to the left. Inhale back to centre, switching over the arms, exhale, reach all the way over to the right. We're just going to do three rotations on each side, always inhaling to lift and lengthen through that midline and exhaling to fold and stretch. One more each side. And then come all the way back up to centre. Take the arms out wide in the T-shaped position and then we're going to wrap the arms around the body as we twist to look behind us. The arms can just fall wherever they need to fall. Top of the shoulder, lower back, probably roughly where your kidneys are. One more each way. And then come all the way back to centre. Soften the knees. Inhale as you extend the arms up above the head. Extend it to Jasna. Exhale as you hinge at the hips, coming all the way down into your Uttanasana floor fold. As it's the first one of the day, think about really bending the knees, drawing the chest over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor, and then take opposite hands, opposite elbow. And just take a moment there in ragdoll. And you can swing from side to side, rock back and forth, do whatever you need to do. Just get deeper into that glutes, into the back, into the, the lower back, into the hamstrings, and maybe even the hips. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. From here, we're going to walk the feet all the way to the back of the mat. Find our down facing dog position. Spread the fingers, press the crown of the head through the arms and toward the floor. Tailbone high to the sky, bend at the knees, find that length in the spine. Maybe just begin by taking a few shoulder pulses first. And then gently start to ease through the legs, opening up the calves, the hips, the hamstrings, the ankles and the feet. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, push the heels towards the floor. From here, right foot comes through outside of the right hand into your lizard lunge. Option to keep the knee lifted or drop the back knee to the floor. And then you're going to inhale to lift and twist with the right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, elbow tap to the floor. We're just going to do three of these on the right side. Replace the hand after that third one to the floor. Step back to your down facing dog and then switch sides. So left foot comes outside of left hand, dropping the knee to the floor. Inhaling to lift and twist, exhaling as you reach that elbow to the floor. Again, three rotations. After that third rotation, replace the hand, step back to down facing dog, and then walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat. Find your Uttanasana forward fold once more. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of the mat, find your squat stance. And then inhale as you come all the way up, palms together at the top, extended to dasana, exhale as you come down into the bottom of your garland pose. Just take a moment there to rock from side to side, get into the ankles, the hips, the knees, the inner thighs, you can bounce up and down, whatever you need to do. And then release the left hand to the floor as you exhale, inhale to lift and twist with the right up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release the right hand to the floor. Inhale to lift and twist with the left up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release. Both hands come to the floor. Heel toe the feet back underneath the hips as you come into your Uttanasana forward fold. And then walk the hands to the front of the mat. Find your vinyasa. So we're going to exhale as we come down to low plank. Inhale to press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, we're going to do one more alternate lizard lunge. So right foot comes outside of right hand. Inhale to lift and twist. Exhale, elbow tap to the floor. Replace the hand. No, no need to do three this time. Step back to down facing dog. And then repeat on the other side. So just one lift and twist on the left side. Then that lizard lunge. Step back to down facing dog. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Find your Uttanasana forward fold. 
Heel toe, the feet out to the edges of the mat. Find your squat stance. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extend your tadasana, palms together at the top. Exhale, come down into your garland pose. From here, left hand comes to the floor. Inhale as you lift and twist to the right. Exhale, release. Right hand comes to the floor. Inhale as you lift and twist to the left. Exhale, release. Both hands to the floor. Inhale as you lift the hips. Heel toe the feet underneath your uh, hips again. And then walk the hands to the front of the mat. And one more vinyasa. So high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. Walk the feet all the way in toward the front of the mat. Find your Uttanasana for a fold. If you want to spend a moment or two there in ragdoll, you can. Just for a few deep breaths. And then whenever you're ready, inhale as you come all the way up, extend your Tadasana. Exhale, release the arms, shake it all out. And find yourself ready for the next uh, part. So we've got our usual three rounds. We've got upper, lower, and cardio are the three round themes. Um, so the first round, if you haven't guessed by now, is upper body focus. Um, and you've got four different movements, working for 45 seconds, resting for 25. So I'm just going to set that up there. I'll demonstrate the first movement. I think we're on, I can't remember whether we're two or three, week two or three, um, but this will be similar to the last one. So if you want to start to progress these movements, then feel free so that you can start to develop your practice. So the first movement of this um, round is that scat press. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and you're just dipping the chest through, keeping those arms nice and straight, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and then pulling the shoulder blades apart. The movement comes entirely from the upper back, the lower back is completely neutral. If you want to make this harder, you can come up onto your toes and find that plank position and again, make it more of a strength focused thing, keeping that core nice and tight. So set yourself up in whichever variation you want. You're going to have 10 seconds on the clock before it starts, you'll hear the time of plank win and in five. Four, three, two, one. So we're just keeping those arms nice and straight, dipping the chest through, squeezing the shoulder blades together and then pulling the chest away, pulling the shoulder blades apart or pushing the chest away, pulling the shoulder blades apart. So this should just move that area between your shoulder blades. No other area of your body should move. You might find this is quite spicy. Halfway there. Already, <laughs> you're over halfway, so keep moving. If you need to take a break, feel free. You've got 10, just coming up to 10 seconds left on the clock, so move all the way to the end. Really focus on that squeeze and pull. And in three, two, one, relax. Yes. The next movement is a down dog to high plank hold. So you're going to come into your down facing dog position. And then you're going to inhale as you roll forwards and find that high plank hold. Option one, stack the shoulders above the um, wrists. Or option two, shoot the shoulders forwards and make it slightly harder in that planching hold. Pressing the ground away and really arching through the back. So set yourself up in that down facing dog. And then go for the variation that you prefer. If you can, hold for a count of two to three and then push back as you exhale to that down facing dog. So you're inhaling to roll forwards, exhaling to roll back. You're coming up to halfway, so if you need to come down into child's pose, halfway shake there. off the arms, reset and repeat, you can. Really squeeze that core, hips and shoulders should be in one nice straight Ten line. Seconds. You have 10 seconds left on the clock, and in five, four, three, two, one, relax. Rest. The next movement is a prone cactus arm. So we're squeezing that middle back section again. So come into your prone position on the mat, arms are up above your head, and then you're gonna squeeze the arms back down together. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades together as you cactus the arms out to the side. Hands should be floating a couple of inches off the floor. You're just inhaling to reach, exhaling to squeeze. So set yourself up, see if you can spend a second or two in each position. 
really squeeze those shoulder blades together. You should be feeling this in that upper back. This is a brilliant movement along with that scap press to create shoulder stability and will translate well into any further functional fitness movements like um, press ups, it will help with your down facing dog, it will help with your arm, um, inver arm balances and inversions. You're over halfway. You've got just coming up ten to 10 seconds. seconds left on the clock, and then we've got one more movement left of this round. Nice work. Rest. The next movement of this round is a simple shoulder tap. So option to do this on your hands and knees. Set yourself up in that plank position. Remember, shoulders, hips, knees all in one line. You're simply going to take one hand off, tap the opposite shoulder, and then take the other hand. So you want to make sure that your hips are nice and stable as you do this. No twisting at the waist. If you want to make this harder, come up off the knees, come into that full plank position, and begin. So see if you can hold for a count of two on each hand. Nice work guys. Keep squeezing that core, keep those hips low. Don't let that bum pike or those hips sag. Nice. Halfway there. Everyone's come off the knees, woo. <laughs> really good. <laughs> You're over halfway, keep working all the way to the end. You've got a full minute's rest after Ten this. Ten seconds. I know your shoulders are burning. <laughs> Doing so, so well. Careful not to twist too much in those last few taps. Nice. Yes. And relax. You have a minute's worth of rest now. <laughs> um, your shoulders are probably hating you. Grab some water. Catch your breath. And then we are on to the lower body round. So I'll start to demonstrate the next movement. So the first movement of the second round is a simple frog squat. So we're going to come into our squat stance. We're going to come down into that garland pose. Hands are going to go over the top of the feet and grab the outside edges of the feet. Think about really pulling the chest through, pulling those shoulders back and down. And then as you exhale, you're going to fold up into that forward fold and then come back down as you inhale into that frog garland variation. So you're just literally inhaling to lift, sorry, inhaling to come down, exhaling to fold. So just go easy on these. You'll be surprised how spicy these get, how fast. So when you're ready, set yourself Let's up, go. find your frog variation of that garland pose, and then you're exhaling to forward fold, inhaling to come back to that garland pose. So just take it easy to begin with. The faster you go, the harder this will be and the quicker your legs will burn, I promise. This already is feeling quite spicy on my quads. Halfway there. And we're only halfway. <laughs> so keep going all the way to the end. Really focus on those end positions. Keep working all the way to the end. You have 10, 10 seconds. seconds left on the clock. And then we are on to the next movement. And in five, Four, three, two, one. The next movement is a single leg chair pose. So we're going to come into our chair pose position, tailbone tucked under, ribs pulled down, navel sucked in. You're then going to lift one heel off the floor and simply pulse five times on one leg and then switch and pulse five times on the other leg. So we're just switching from side to side. Let's go. So set yourself up, find that chair position. The lower you can pulse this, the harder it's going to be. It will take you a little bit longer for each pulse, but that is going to make it a harder workout if that is what you are looking for today. So really focus on pushing that standing legs heel back and down into the floor, sitting Halfway back into there. that heel as you're pulsing. Nice work. You're over halfway. You have 12 seconds or so left on the clock. See if you can get maybe another set of pulses in on each side. Make sure you finish on an even <laughs> if you can. And in three, two, Rest. one, relax. The next movement is an alternating lunge. So option to step back, tapping the knee to the floor, or step forwards, tapping the knee to the floor. It's Yogi's choice. You could do a combination of the two and then step forwards and back with the other if you really wanted to confuse it. 
If you want to step this up a notch, you can add the arms into the mix, sing them out to the side, or even that jumping lunge. So Yogi's choice, take your variation. You might prefer to step forwards, you might prefer to step back, it's completely down to the individual. If you want to add that jump in, maybe you just do half the workout with the jump. As it's coming up to half time, you could start that now Halfway if you there. wanted to. Or you could change direction and start stepping forwards instead of doing that reverse lunge. They do work slightly different areas of Two the legs. Seconds. And in five, four, three, two, one, relax. Rest. The next movement is a goddess heel lift. So you're going to go slightly wider than the squat stance. Sit back into your heels, find that 90, 90 degree angle. Arms are cactus out to the side. You're simply going to lift one heel off the floor and then the other. So you're alternating from side to side, keeping it nice and low in that squat at half time. If you want to, you can shake your legs off. So set yourself up, sit back and down into those heels and then just alternate from side to side as you lift those heels off the floor. So if the goddess arms become too much, you can always take them to the hips. Just try not to lean on your legs. Keep nice and low. Nice work, ladies. Doing really well. You are coming up to halfway, so you need to shake those legs out. Reset and repeat, you can. The more you can hold that heel off the ground, the harder it is gonna be. You have less than 10 seconds left now, and in five, four, three, two, one, relax. That is round two done. Shake those legs out, grab some water. You have another round of cardio left, and then we'll begin to cool down. <laughs> well done, girls, you're doing really well, especially when it's so hot. So just take this next round easy, as it is quite hot. Maybe don't go as fast as you might normally if we have regular weather. The first movement of this next round is a simple up down. So you're either going to take the hands to the floor, step back into plank and step forwards, repeat, or hands to the floor, jump back, jump forwards, up. So make sure you pull those hips through as you come up, jumping back and forth. So set yourself up probably in the middle of your mat somewhere. And we've got 10 seconds before we start. And in five, four, three, two, one. So hands to the floor, jump back, catch and plank, jump up. So really focus on trying to catch those hips in that plank position. So you're getting that core squeeze and then squeeze the glutes as you push those hips through at the top. Obviously, the faster you go, the harder you're going to be working out. If you need to turn it down a notch because of the heat, then feel free to step back right there. and step forwards. Slow it down. Go at your own pace. This is your workout. You're halfway there. So you are nearly coming towards the end of this. You've got 10 seconds left Ten on the seconds. clock. And in all of these, you can count the reps and see if you can beat those reps in the second half when you get to halfway. And relax. The next one is a goddess to chair jump. So you're going to come into your goddess pose, jump, catch and chair. So you're inhaling to chair, exhaling to goddess. So you're simply jumping back and forth. You can step in and step out, just remembering to alternate the leading leg as you do this. So set yourself up in that goddess pose, sit back and down, and then jump, catch and chair. Catching goddess. So the lower you go in that chair, the harder it's going to be. Also, the more you move, the harder this is going to be. So pick your, your progression. I'm out of breath already. It's so hot already. You're coming up to halfway. So take a note of how many you've done. See if you can match that halfway or beat that in this second half. You've got this. Work all the way to the end. You've only got 15 seconds left on the clock. And now you've got 10, ten. so keep moving all the way, I reckon you can get two or three of each, all the way to the end, two more movements left, nice, relax, the next movement 
is a mountain climber. So you're going to come into that plank position and just simply bring knee through to roughly where your elbows are, so between the hands. If you want to make this harder, add a bit of a pace to it, so just increase it. Or if you want more core, come into that tiger curl, scooping that knee up towards the nose as you want to do this. So keep moving, pick your progression, just keep moving all the way through. It's getting very hot, so just do your best. I'll tell you when we're coming up to halfway. Maybe you want to mix your style. So we're coming up to halfway now. Halfway if you there. want to turn it down a notch, feel free, or if you want to go into those mountain climbers for that last couple of reps, you can. Set yourself up however you want to do, or just continue. 10 seconds. You have less than 10 seconds on the clock, and in five, four, three, two, Rest. one. Next movement is an inchworm to chair jump. So you're going to come to the back of your mat, walk your hands all the way forwards, find your plank position, maybe even go further if you want to challenge yourself, and then walk the hands all the way back, jump, catch and chair. If you want to make this harder, you can add a tuck. If you want to make it easier, you can leave the jump. Let's so set yourself up, walk the hands all the way to either plank or beyond plank for that inchworm full extension. Walk the hands all the way back, jump, and then catch and chair. Yogi's choice. Reset and repeat. So the jump will send you off balance if you're trying for that top jump. Halfway there. Really concentrate on your stability in that landing. Nice, really good. You're over halfway, so see if you can get one or two more in. 10 seconds. Keep going all the way to the end. And in three, two, one, no, relax. Grab some water, you are done with the cardio round. And Obi is ready to play. Come on, it's out the way. Sorry. <laughs> so when you're ready, grab some water. Find yourself at the back of your mat. Obi, sit down. Lie down. <laughs> Sorry. Got a gate crasher. And then we're gonna <laughs> come into our extended child's pose. So finding yourself at the back of your mat, come into your kneeling position, reach the hands forward, forehead to the floor, and just take a moment to catch your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Last deep breath all the way in. And then as you exhale, this time walk the hands all the way over to the right. And take two deep breaths as you feel that stretch in the left side body. When you've taken those two deep breaths, gently walk the hands all the way back to centre as you inhale. And then as you exhale, all the way over to the other side. Feel the stretch in the opposite side of the body now. Two more deep breaths. When you've taken those two deep breaths, walk all the way back to centre. Come up onto your hands and knees. We're going to take left foot outside of left um, hand, reach the heart forward, pull back into the hip, take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale and then reach up and over as you grab that right foot with your left hand, heel towards the glute, pulse it a few times, hold for three, two, one, relax and then switch sides. So left leg goes back, right foot comes forward outside of that right hand, reach the heart forward, pull back into the hip, feel that stretch, feel a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale and then reaching up and over, right hand to left foot, heel to the glute, pulse a few times, and then hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, release. Take both hands to the floor, step back with the feet, and then come into a seated position on your mat. From here, take the legs straight out in front of you, flex the toes back towards you, 
pull the fleshy bits of your bum out from underneath your sit bones. We're going to come into a simple seated forward. As we inhale, lift the hands up, exhale as you reach forward. Really finding that length in the spine as you reach nose towards your toes. Three deep breaths. After that third deep breath, exhale completely and then inhale as you reach a little bit further forwards and then exhale can you melt any deeper. See if you can bring that head towards the knees now. Two more deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale and then slowly inhale as you come all the way up. Scoot the bum down towards the heels. Come onto your backs, take your arms out wide in a T-shaped position and keep your toes to the floor but your heels are lifted. From here we're just going to take a few window wipers to finish, dropping the knees from side to side, releasing off that lower back, unraveling the spine, stretching out the chest, getting into the hips and the glutes. One more each side. And then gently bring the knees all the way in towards your chest. You can rock from side to side, massage your lower back on the floor. Just take a moment there to enjoy the sensation. And then whenever you're ready, just roll over onto the right side of your body and come all the way up to seated. Find yourself in the center of your mat. And we'll take one final deep inhale as we lift the hands up above the head, palms together at the top. As we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts. To the lips, kind words. To the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.